Time now for Fantasy Football Today for CBS Local Sports. I'm Jamie Eisenberg. That's Heath Cummings. We have the starts and sits that you need for Week 15. We know it's the semifinals in many of your fantasy leagues. Let's get that win and advance the championship. And hopefully a guy that will do that will be J.K. Dobbins as the start of the week. Love the setup for him taking on the Jaguars. They have been miserable the last three weeks against opposing running backs. Hey, they've been miserable all season. And Dobbins has been on fire, scored a touchdown each of his last three games. I think he's going to have an opportunity here to be fantastic once again. I like him. Sportsline loves him. He will come around by the time he sets his lineups. But J.K. Dobbins should have a big opportunity and maybe even Gus Edwards as well. He has a touchdown or 100 yards in each of his last three games. Joining J.K. Dobbins as a start running back for me is Mike Davis, J.D. McKissick, and Jeff Wilson. Wilson is obviously contingent on Raheem Mostert and his status, but I think Wilson could be a flex option even if Mostert does play. And for McKissick, you know what to do with him in PPR. Antonio Gibson dealing with that toe injury should be an uptick in targets for McKissick as they're probably chasing points against the Seahawks. The sit running backs for you, Heath, are Todd Gurley, James Conner, and Devin Singletary. And we know the Bills running back situation has been very up and down. And this week could be a down one for Devin Singletary. The nice thing is if you don't like the Bills running back situation, just wait a week, it will change. Devin Singletary had back-to-back -back games with at least 80 total yards. Zach Moss was out of the picture until last week, and then Zach Moss was leading back. You can't trust any Bills running backs. All right, we go now from the running backs to the quarterbacks. And Heath, the guys that you like this week are Mitchell Trubisky, Kyler Murray, and Derek Carr and Trubisky. Coming off a great game last week against the Texans, will he follow it up with a good game against the Bears? He's been most, Vikings, excuse me. mostly good this year. I have 24 fantasy points or more in three of five complete games. He's reached 30 fantasy points in two of those games. In his five complete games, he's averaged 23 fantasy points per game. I'm starting him against the Vikings. Got to wonder how Trubisky doesn't practice against that own defense of the Bears. Probably that's what I was thinking, just to see how that would go for Trubisky. The sit quarterbacks for me, Cam Newton, Matt Ryan, and Baker Mayfield. And Baker's been on a nice roll, 22 or more fantasy points in three straight games. But I think that stops this week against the Giants. They allow fewer than 18 points per game on average this season to opposing quarterbacks and they felt the last two guys that they faced you may have heard of them Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray to fewer than 19 fantasy points I think Baker's hot streak comes to an end here but don't forget next week he gets the Jets he should get hot in that week if you need him the start wide receivers for week 15 include T.Y. Hilton, Juju Smith-Schuster and Chris Godwin and we know it's been a very up and down season for T.Y. Hilton but he is up up and away right now and he dominates the Texans in 17 career games against Houston's defense 98 catches 1700 yards and 11 touchdowns let's keep it going one more time against the Texans this week the sit wide receivers for you Chase Claypool Jarvis Landry and CD Lamb and so for Claypool it's been very up and down for him lately losing playing time to James Washington but he did have a good game against the Bengals in week 10 you don't think it'll happen in the rematch that was back when he was playing more. The first two weeks of the season, he only played 43 combined snaps. Every week after that, at least 40 snaps for Chase Claypool until week 13. And he's only seen five catches over the past two games. He has not scored since week 11. He hasn't topped 60 yards since week nine. I just can't trust Claypool. Trust is a big word when it comes to the Steelers right now. And certainly Claypool is a guy you might want to avoid. The starts at tight end include Logan Thomas, Eric Ebron, and Irv Smith. And for Logan Thomas, he's just been great no matter who the quarterback has been more times than not this season. May not have Alex Smith, but I don't think that matters to you. It doesn't matter to me. Listen, he's a top five tight end with Alex Smith since Smith took over as the starter, but his target share with Dwayne Haskins was actually higher. So against this great matchup against the Seattle Seahawks, I'll be starting Thomas no matter who the quarterback is. I would much rather have Logan Thomas than these three guys in terms of Hayden Hurst, Noah Fant, and Dalton Schultz, the sit tight ends for week 15. And for Hurst, we had such high expectations for him, and he did show flashes of being a very good fantasy option. Option. But his last four games, 10 combined PPR points, and we know this defense is no joke for Tampa Bay. They do give up some production to tight ends. We did see Irv Smith have a good game against them last week, but Irv Smith more productive. I would rather start Irv Smith than Hayden Hurst in Week 15. There's your starts and sits at quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. We hope they're successful for you. And if you still need some help, check out our Fantasy Football Today in 5 podcast. You can also check out our full-length podcast, and those are available wherever podcasts are found. We will help you win your fantasy leagues in 2020.